what is up YouTube, HPJ here, and oh my god, I am so excited to talk about the latest news from DOCG. We have the Sioux ship archetype, and we have some new Gizmak monsters. Now, um, I'm not gonna, I, honestly, I really don't care about the Gizmak monsters, to be very fair. Um, Gizmak monsters just do a whole bunch of the same thing that other Gizmak monsters do, just special summoning each other and whatnot. I'm here for the Sioux ship because I did not expect the Sioux ship to actually be a. I, I didn't expect them to actually go ahead and rock out with sushi as an archetype. Um, if you're not too familiar, the history of of this also extends to some older stuff. Uh, where they're actually talking about the... Um, they're mentioning one particular monster, Firecracken. This was an old school Yu-Gi-Oh monster, uh, fire attribute. The first fire attributed aqua type monster. Well, they're taking advantage of that again and they're legitimately going through the crazies. And then they made an entire art type around sushi. So I'm gonna actually scroll down through all the Gizmak stuff because I really don't care about Gizmak. I'm here for the sushi ship. So this is sushi, rice sushi ship. This is a level four fire attribute aqua type normal monster with 2000 attack, zero defense. So I'm going to skim through this flavor text because I know you guys want to read it. Um, in a certain sous ship port uh, in which I've been interested for, in, yeah, interested for a while, uh, there is a rice sous ship of which only 2,000 vessels a year are produced with a safe deploy, with a self-deployment old rice that is not sticky with a profound taste that cannot be enjoyed in any other port of which many critics have heavily acclaimed the interior of this harbor is high status making one's heart beat with excitement as for the site sought after sea ship uh, despite the vinegar Conduration, grasping technique and molding worthy of a craftsman, there is still something that hasn't quite that isn't quite right. Wasn't quite there. Thus the ship owner speaks. A red vinegar made in Indu Fort will be added will add a mellow and rich fragrance will be be arriving in the port in the upcoming days. And for hearing and from hearing that I'm looking forward to this addition. It is unfortunate that the surrounding sea area was somewhat noisy. It is what great expansion oh expectations of a future visit that I am gradually grad yeah, grading it with four stars. Which is ironic because this monster is a level four is a four is a level four monster. All right, we move on to the next monster. This is Rose Ship, level four uh, fire attribute aqua type effect monster with 200 attack, 300 defense. You only set to summon this card this way through its effect once per turn. You only use this card's second effect once per turn each. When you control a rose, a rice sous ship monster, uh, you can set summon this card from your hand during your main phase. You can activate the top three cards of your deck. And if you do, you can add to your hand or special summon one excavated rice sea ship. Also, shuffle the rest of the cards back into the deck. Then, uh, we have Dreadnought Sioux Ship Rogue Class First Washard. Uh, rank 4, 2000 attack, 300 defense. 2200 attack, 300 defense. Fire Aqua. Fire type aqua, no, fire attribute aqua type exceed monster. Requirements two level four monsters. You only use this card's first effect once per turn. If this card is exceed something, you can apply the spec space on the monsters used for as material. Um, rice sea ship, draw one card. Rose sea ship, this card can make a second attack during each battle phase. Uh, second effect, once a turn, when your sous ship monster that was set to summon from the extra deck inflicts battle damage to uh, your opponent, you can target one card they control and destroy it. 
And we have Feldspell. This is Seashit Gallery Kaisen. Or is it Kinsen? No, Kaisen. Uh, you can uh, you can activate one of three once or three. You can no more so summon a sushi monster or monsters during even during the battle, even during the damage step. Uh, you can place one sushi card uh, from from your from your deck on top of your deck. Uh, once a turn, if a sushi monster or monsters uh, social summon from the extra deck is sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card. You can make your opponent pay life points equal to his defense and then social summon one rice sushi from your hand. And if you do, automatically after this card's effect resolves, exceed summon one sushi exceed monster only using that monster as material. Then we have their trap card. This is Zeus Ship Roll Special. Normal trap. You can activate this card. You can also reveal one rice Zeus Ship in your hand. If when you activate this card, you can also reveal one rice Zeus Ship from your hand. Uh first effect. Reveal three Zeus Ship monsters from your deck. Then your opponent picks one uh, to add to your hand. Also shuffle the rest back into the deck. If you reveal a rice sushi ship when this card is activated, you choose instead. Um, if this card in your graveyard, except during the turn of the sun to graveyard, you can banish this card and target three sushi ship monsters in your graveyard, shovel them into the deck, and draw one card. So, yeah, <laughs> this is this is bananas. It's I get it's supposed to be like a pun or it's supposed to be like. Konami's typical gimmick deck with blowholes attached to it. But I have some weird feeling this is going to be a really good archetype. Like, I'm thinking of stuff that it can combine with. Like, um, remember, Box of Friends, Princess Cologne, they have an archetype that circumvents around monsters with zero attack and zero def or zero defense. This will be a great combination with them. We can get some normal beatdown shenanigans going it's fire attribute probably throwing some fire tuners and stuff like that i wish it had 200 defense because you could rekindle it but unfortunately you can't the um the effect monster is actually pretty good as well it's such a slum in itself and then it has the ability um to pretty much go for some more rice sushi ships and put them onto the board or add them to your hand you have this really cool filled spell which I love the artwork for it, and that it can draw you a card, it can swing twice during the battle phase, and then it can inflict damage to your opponent. I mean, when it inflicts damage to your opponent, you're, you can just draw a card they control. Like, it's a really good rank for a monster. It's not bad at all. Um, Phil Spell's cool. Not too bad there either. The shark card is going to be beast. Because you can get a free summon. No, you get a free add to your hand. And if you have the rice sushi ship, you get to choose. So, with a combination of the other variant of cards that can add it to your hand. You're not going to be worried about that. And it's a pot of avarice. So, that's good there. Like, I, I, I see this being very prominent. I want to see some more support. I definitely want to see what the TCG is going to do with this. Because, as... Low worthy as this is, I can't wait to see what the rest of the stuff looks like um, when it actually comes out. So let me know what you guys think of the sushi, the sushi ship archetype. Do you, lols? I want to hear what lols you guys can think of this. Like, because I know it's crazy that they're building an archetype that's gonna be that artwork is based that's gonna be themed around sushi. In in sushi made ships, it's hilarious, but it seems really cool, and I probably would play around with it myself. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your stuff, of course, in the comment section below. And I did forget to add this in the front, but don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you get informed of when I do upload more content. Um. Also, social media links are in the description box so you guys can interact with me there through social media such as Twitter and Face, Twitter and Instagram. So, thanks everybody for watching and I will catch you all next time. HBJ, signing out. Take care.